How old are you? 49. 49. What do you got for me? So I missed some of it when I was trying to get the camera straight or the voice straight, but you were saying something about how it was okay to sleep with a person the first time they asked you out and you talked about the coochie credit thing. Was that right? Uh, I think you'll, yeah, sure. Okay. So you shouldn't go out with somebody on the first date you're not sexually attracted to. So, yeah. No, I mean, if I was attracted to them, I just don't feel like just because I'm attracted to them. If I, I feel like first of all, you're 50. I'm sorry. You're almost 50, right? Yes. (laughs) Are you serious? What the fuck are we playing games for? I'm very serious. Um, well, how long you been married? I've never been married. I see why. <laughs> Nobody waits for a 50 year old. What's going on everyone? Welcome to my channel, it's Calm Vibes. I'm JP and let's talk about it. Okay, so I just hit this up with uh, Kevin Sam. This is an old one he had done and I ran across it. And a little weird, man. This, this chick, 50 years old, comes on here and act as if she doesn't know anything about dating. So she's 50 years old, one kid, no husband, but thinks she has some advice or trying to figure it out type shit. So, I mean, I don't I don't know what the, what you ladies are thinking about, man. I really don't. But, you know, before we, you no, know, I let it run some more. Go ahead and show the love, hit that subscribe button, uh, that share button, and that notification bell, and hey man, let's keep this thing rocking. Uh, the goal is 60 for the month, all right? 60 subscribers for the month, like I said, new channel. Um, my last one got hacked up, so I had to start over, so you know, no big thing, we just gotta do what we have to do these days. But no further ado. Here's the crazy 50 year old lady. All right. Y'all uh, <laughs> try to enjoy this as much as you can, man. Let's see. I have a question, though. Okay. Because you mentioned something about vetting. So, how do you vet a person? You, sh- you think you-, you sleep with them and vet them afterwards? Mm, no, they vet you. Oh, they but why vet are you? Me. No, 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 no. See, you got a problem. You're 50. Right. And you're acting like you got uh, leverage out here. I'm not. I don't. How do you like vet? How do you I, vet? I, I, I'm. I'm. I'm trying to listen. Okay. Why am I saying this? Because your level of concern is about the man. Mm-hmm. What's wrong with you? Why you got to fifty years old and unmarried? Any kids? Yeah. How many? One. How old? Uh, he's 29. He lives in uh, the West. All Coast. right. So how you got to be 50? Do you go to college? Yeah. Ba- bachelor's, master's, PhD, what? Master's. I'm a PhD. So how'd you get to be 50 years old and couldn't land a husband? Um, not sure if I wanted to be married. Thank you. So I am, with- I am- and see, and that and that's a thing right here. I, I I don't get this. I don't get this, ladies. Uh, maybe y'all can explain it to me. Y'all have this thing where y'all say y'all don't want to get married, but she's fifty years old now, looking for somebody to marry her as. So how can you go for not wanting? And now you like, oh shit, I'm by myself. My kid is grown. The kid probably about to get married. Someone's not coming around as much because she says he's 29. So he's doing his own thing. So now you're starting to think, hmm, I got a few guys that's dating me or whatever. Young guys hitting it up, but ain't nobody really trying to do nothing. So now you're starting to get a little nervous that you're going to be by yourself. Shit, baby girl, you got to do better than that. You 50 fucking years old. Like I said, you half 100. You got to do better than that. You can't, what if your niece or somebody asks you something about getting a man, getting married, all the bad advice you've probably given over the years. See that what I'm saying, man? Y'all, shit, man. 
<sighs> listen to these old fucking single ass chicks you want to and you ask to stay single that's all I can say so let's see what else she got to say man let's just see what else she got to say I am, so, um, so, I'm going to say when you talked about people like sexy. the way I was raised I was definitely mm -hmm. one of those raised by the way my mom was Okay, my sisters to uh so my, my thing, what I'm saying ultimately, ma'am, is you don't have, talking about sleeping with somebody on the first date, why is that even a question at 50 years old? Um, It's not even like, it's just like not even knowing a person. Like, I'm just like, does anybody ever think about things like diseases? Like, I'm that's like how I'm thinking. Like, I don't really know you. I don't know anything of, about you or what your preferences are or what. Ma'am, 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 ma'am. Yeah. See that stupid shit right there. She's going on and on and on about diseases and all this. He didn't say you had to sleep with someone on the first night. And that's how people take things to the string. You ladies go straight to the extreme and not listen. He said it's okay if you do sleep with someone. That's what he's saying. Because it's a choice. It don't have nothing to do with all this waiting and all this other stuff. If the vibe is there, you're both feeling each other, there shouldn't be a problem with sleeping together. Now, you try disease and all this, wear a condom. Do what you got to do or whatever. Don't get sloppy with it. Just have some regular sex the first night. But don't act as if you don't know like it's disease uh, and just start rambling. Again, fucking crazy, man. This chick is crazy. You talking like you're a twenty-something-year-old woman? Do you yeah. have? Do you have? Listen, listen, listen. What I'm about to ask you. Okay. Do you have lots of men of value beating down your door for relationships? I I date. What did I ask you? Um, a, a value meaning? Are you meaning like money wise? I. Man, what did I ask you? Do I have men of value beating down my door? For what? Right? I said, do you have... Do you got... Y'all notice how she... Um, she acts as if she can't quite comprehend, but she's saying she's so educated. It's like the shit he's asking her is going over her head like she can't quite get it. So maybe she's just socially awkward. And just gotten to be 50 years old and now realizing she didn't do shit right. But some, some things, like you said, you're thinking like a 20-year-old, you're 50 years old. I don't know. That shit don't sound right. Do you have lots of men of value beating your door down for relationships? I have a few. I don't know what you mean by lots, but more than five. Not more than five, no. At 50 years old, if you don't know how to pick a man and you feel like you need to get to know a man, how old are these men, by the way? Um, part of the problem is a lot of times they're younger than me. Thank you. You're all jacked. Thank you. Well, thank you. I mean, is, thank is you. No, I'm going to talk to the audience. See, this is a young minded woman. That's why she's going after younger minded men because she has to have a level of power. She couldn't deal but no, with no, a man. No, no, I'm not no, looking for no, younger. No, 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 no. You couldn't deal with a man that's your contemporary because he's not going to play games with you. No. Now they're okay. 50 years old. Okay. The last person I dated was, was older than me. But what I'm saying is, it well, seems like he, I attract what, more guys that are younger, for but I did... What did he do for a living? Which one? The older one? Yes. Oh, he was a contractor. He, I mean, he was self-employed. I mean... Uh-huh, but you made more money than him, right? No, he made more money than me. Okay, cool. Ma'am, bottom line is and this. And we're still friends. It's bottom line is this. I think it's sad that so many of our women really still think they, they're dating in their mind like they're still in their 20s. Well, that's what 
That's what I mean, it comes right down to. When Stella got her groove back, that was a movie. I'll mute you, man, but you're talking. Hey, do y'all notice how she just is fucking looking around like she's lost? <laughs> like, what? What? I don't get it. I mean, I don't get it. I don't understand. She is really lost, man. Let's watch this shit. I, I was, I, I got to talk to yourself. I had to mute you because you kept over talking me. I want to know the men who are going to sit around and fret. I mute yourself, Ann. Not Ann. Uh, not Ann. Not Ann. I'm the wrong person. Leslie. Leslie, I'm going to get to Leslie. Yes. Okay. okay. I want I want you to understand what I'm trying to get you to understand, okay? Yeah. Ma'am, men are not going to sit around and wring their hands and fret about dating a woman that's 50. Dating a woman that's 50 years old needs to be a lighthearted, pleasurable experience. Should be stressed less. Because you should at the age to where you should be able to know how to pick, know how to do all. You should be the easiest group of women to date. Because you're the oldest. But all the questions you have implies that you haven't learned how to really date. I agree. I agree with that. I haven't, I've, and I honestly haven't dated a lot. I've had quite a few relationships that were like, I meet people and then they just turn into relationships, but I. How long is your longest really relationship? Dated. How long is your longest relationship? My longest relationship was five years. Why didn't you guys get married? Um, Because infidelity. How, how often were you cheating? It, I wasn't the one cheating. Of course not. You never got no. I never cheat. So you had no male friends. No, no, hmm. I don't do that, and I don't date multiple. Like I'm going out with a guy uh, now. Okay. I only date I'm one just, person okay. at a time. Say male friends, meaning like you, you didn't um, communicate with any men. Text? Not really. I mean, okay. I had a few friends that I might have had gone. Yeah, I'll look over there to the right. Kevin got that. Uh, <laughs> he got that arrow on that mute button. <laughs> He ready to mute that ass as soon as she get out of hand. Like, I read a boop. <laughs> oh, shit. Leslie Green, he about to mute your ass. <laughs> okay, let's, let's keep it going. On to school with or something like that, mm -hmm. but nothing like romantically, but yeah. Okay, friends well, that I've well, no, 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 no. Romantically. Were these men that you were talking about, were they married? Uh, no. One. One was one. And you communicated with a not. married man, like a friend, like somebody I went to school with, and I knew both mm -hmm. of them. We both went. To, we all went to school. Together. Okay. Well, I'll ultimately say this, man. Yes. What do you got, ladies? Expect? He cheated. So what? He what do you got now? So, I mean, and let's just be pragmatic. Fifty years old out here in the dating scene, you reduced to dating younger men. That's that's against nature. No life can come out of your situation. That's why I say it's against nature. What do you got now? This is why people don't like me because I'm very pragmatic. What do you got now? I'm not saying I don't like you. I'm, I listen no, to I'm you. saying I people. I didn't say I you. Like I said you. people because I'm pragmatic. Oh. Five-year relationship, you had somebody you cheated. Did he bring on any? As long as he's not, how'd you find out he cheated? Uh, because I made him go get a blood test. A blood test. Did he bring home a disease? Yeah. Okay, that's a problem. <laughs> oh fella shooting the club up shooting the club up and messed up but that's why you fellas out there raw dogging these randoms then you come home to your lady and you do shit like this now I'm not all with that stuff you, if you got somebody at home then be at home man 
You know, you're going to be out there raw dogging and hanging out and doing all this shit, then come back home to your lady and I give her something. I mean, you out here being nasty as fuck. So, uh, well, she's supposed to leave that one. So, but why do you wait t before you got another one? I can understand, yeah, you worried about it. But damn, you're 50 now. But I wish you would have asked how long ago that's been. Because then you'll know how long she's been holding off. So if that happened, let's say right after her son was born. Like, what what, what you been doing since then? Because you're still dating. So that means you're still having sex with somebody. So that can't be the real issue. She just says she's still dating these young boys at that. And they the main ones shooting up the damn club with nothing on. So they butt ass naked out here just doing whatever. And that's, so that's a problem. I think why I'm so I'm so um more con more leery well, of it now. But no, ma'am, no, no, no. See, but uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh -uh. See, it would have been good if you'd have just stopped. <laughs> Making men in your present pay for mistakes of your past equals no future. That's somebody you're with for five years. Right. You can't make that these guys going forward. That's bullshit. Okay. I'm just saying I'm just cautious. That's all. There's no way to fix that. Right. No amount of caution is going to fix somebody who came home in a relationship and burned you. So you can't try to make the dating environment address that. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Okay. So at 50, whatever traumas you're dealing with, ma'am, I mean, I'm, I'm just being honest. Most guys don't get excited to go holler at women who are half a hundred. So the options are going to quickly start to drop because I will admit black women can tend to hold dating into the late forties, early fifties, but it's about to be over. Okay. So enjoy while you can mm -hmm. instead of, well, I want to know if I get to know somebody <laughs> lucky if he got his teeth in the pulse. Well, well, that's the thing. Like the like the guy that was older, he was like okay, missing but, teeth, and I'm like, book how do you book a session? All right. Okay, guys, this was sad as fuck. This old ass half a hundred lady lost, confused. Don't don't fall into that, people. Don't be that person. You done got this old. Now you realize you done effed up. Like I said, she's probably somebody auntie or something or giving advice to younger girls when thought she had it, knew what she was talking about. But you have a hundred and you still have done tonight, you don't don't realize you don't know how to date. Well, I ain't gonna spend a lot of time on this shit. You guys figure it out. Hit it in the comments. Uh remember, subscribe, like, share, and hit the notification bell. Uh help me out, reach the goal of sixty this month, just sixty. I'm just trying to move the needle a little bit. If you guys, um, you're watching, but you're not hitting the subscribe button. So instead of being a ninja, I need you guys to hit that button for me. All right. So don't be no peekaboo type and don't hit the button. So thank you guys for checking in on me. This calm vibes. Let's talk about it. And I'm JP and I'm out of here. Y'all take care. Peace. Mm -hmm.